Hey, Rock and Rob here, and we are in the pits with none other than not Milt Decker, but yes, this is his old car, new campaigner Brian Prince. And I'll tell you what, Bry's cooking me and Jim breakfast. We're going to sneak up on him right now and find out about the car, the track, the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mod. Hey, Bry, what's going on, man? Happening, Rob, how are you? Jimmy, how's it going? Pretty good. What you doing there, buddy? Trying to make some breakfast. It uh, looks like we're going to make some eggs and with uh, with some nice meat in here and everything. It's just the wind keeps blowing uh, everything out over here. Excellent. So after this uh, interview, we're going to help you eat this stuff. Uh, looking forward to it. And a little bit of drag racing. Last night, the conditions, the car, uh, the power. How did it feel here last night out on the track? Well, it actually felt pretty good, except you know we had a little problem with the nitrous and the switches, and unfortunately, we didn't you know we didn't do a good showing. We didn't get down A to B right. It's okay. Uh, we figured out the problem. Thank God, it was only a little switch. Now today, we've got three uh, three hits to go today to get in the field, and I'm certain that we will make it, and we'll make it right there in a, somewhere in the middle. Let's put it that way. We should make it somewhere in the middle before the bounce. Yeah, now with these Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods, they're really exciting. I've seen some awesome cars all night long, all day. I've been going around the pits. What kind of numbers should we expect out of the old reliable Corvette? And you know what? It's not a small block anymore. What kind of power plant are we running, Bry? We got a Gil Davis, originally built by Ron Miller for uh, IHRA Pro Stock. Gil Davis redid my motor for me uh, with a little help from, uh, you know, questions from Gene Fulton and uh, Steve Sr. over at LSM and we made an 816 cubic inch wedge motor with three guns on it. She got some snot. Wow, me, she man. Got some that, snot. that is awesome. You know, that's what I love about the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods. I mean, there's there's uh, there's blowers, there's nitrous, there's turbos, there's uh, Lenkos, there's automatics, and I'll tell you what, Last week, when we saw when uh, Dina Parisi or Parisi won the event, uh, down she, Virginia, she down yeah, Virginia. down Virginia, she's got an automatic, and um, then we seen Scriber, you know, he won the nitrous side. I mean, is is he a stick? Oh yeah, he's got a Liberty in there, a Liberty Extreme, and let me tell you, that's one heck of a piece he's got in there. He's got some piece of equipment over there, you know. Uh, he doesn't need to go 590s all day long, so he just tunes it down, basically, and runs a 6.0. I've got a 5-inch bore space motor. I don't have one of the new 5.3s yet. I have been talking to a builder about it. We'll see what happens by the end of the year, financially, maybe a little sponsorship, a little business to see what goes on. I mean, I can't make this happen without, like, uh, my buddy Jegs over Jegs.com. I mean, they got the best parts. If anybody needs any parts, checks.com without a question. The people, yeah, right? I'm wearing a nice dirty hat just to the side. And I'm sure Jake's has a 1 800 number too, right? Uh, that would be 1 800 345 4545. I remember. And if you act now, Jake's will throw in a free hat, compliments of Rock and Rob and Brian Prince. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, uh, you know, Jegs.com has done a lot for me. The same with Goodyear. I mean, you know, you can't get down these tracks with this kind of power without having a really good tire in a car. Yeah, <laughs> we're making sure that the BB doesn't burn. Don't worry about it. But, you know, uh, I mean, the, the multitude of sponsors that I used to have and have come back to me now that I'm back at the upper levels again, you know, I'm really grateful to them. The man I'm most grateful to, though, is actually is Milt Decker, who I bought my car from. Milt, he's just a great guy. He has given me an enormous amount of help. Uh, he's still got a small block car because everybody see that. That's the thing that even Rock and Rob didn't know. There's two of them. There's one with a small block, the MFSB car, and there's one that's a big block. I took the big block car, Milt still got the small block car, and she's nice and sitting home, nice and pretty. Milt has a record that's just unbelievably good. He's an unsung hero in a nitrous class. The man has gone, when IHRA used to have Pro Mod before, I don't know, it's, I think it's like almost defunct now, but before that car has made it down, as a legal pro mod and put some of the biggest names with million dollar sponsorships behind him on a trailer. Why? Because he knows what he's doing. He's an unsung hero and I really appreciate him being my crew chief. It's a very big thing. And my engine builder, Gil Davis at Gil Davis Race Engines, 
you can't say enough for the power he does, the time he takes with you. It's just, it's really good to have really good people behind you. You know, and that's what it's all about here with the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods. you got great teams, great crews. We just need more sponsorship. So if you're looking to get your name out there, you know, come on board with the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods. Sponsor some great racers like Brian Princeton. You know, Milt Decker, the you know, the ex-Corvette owner, he still has one, the Evil Twin. And Milt has been around. I've seen Milt in Orlando. I've seen him at Cecil County. I've seen him all over the world. He is the nitrous man. I'll tell you, he was a small block man. Milt rocks, and uh, you guys rock. Milt Decker. How you doing, Rob? Pleased to meet you, man. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about your new program here, the new car owner, and uh, the difference between the old, the new, and possibly you have an evil twin at home with a small block. Right. Well, right now I'm just helping Brian out a little. He bought the car and uh, put the Gil Davis racing engine in it and trying uh, to get it worked out right now. Like I said, it's going to be a little, little different change for me, so we'll get it straightened out. As far as my small block car, I still have that car. Thinking about bringing it back out soon. If everything goes right, like I said, with the economy the way it is, business has been a little rough. But like I said, we'll, we'll try to get it back out here soon. So you're, you're probably looking for some sponsorship too, huh, Milt? Oh, yeah. We're always looking for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> well, heck, how would they get a hold of you, Milt? Uh, they can reach me at my car lot, you know, at 292 Seven one seven two nine two zero two eight zero. That'd be a great way. Yeah, and you know, a little bit of a little bit about the big block versus your small block. I mean, um, ET wise. I mean, what are the numbers like? Well, my small block used to run like six sixties around two ten. This thing runs, you know, in the six teens at around two thirty. So it's a little bit different. Okay, and both cars being uh, stick shift Lenko clutch driven. Right. Both cars are both both stick shift. Yep. All right, and also Milt Decker, uh, you know, we know that you're one of the nitrous innovators over the years. I've seen you in Orlando. I've seen you everywhere, setting all kinds of records. I mean, you're always the first one to get there fast. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have the big sponsorship, but I have watched you take out some pretty, pretty big people. Um, maybe next year, uh, you know, when the economy recovers, are you, are you going to join on with the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mods? There's always a chance. Like I said, I want to see how things go. I'm trying to get myself back in line here. and. If everything goes right, yeah, I wouldn't mind coming back out. Man, that is awesome to see Milt Decker, the car, Brian Prince. What a great team, man. Well, this is Rockin' Rob, and I'd like to thank you, Milt. Thank you very much. And also, Brian. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it very much. All right. We will see them out there.